Uh, I think that what drew me to anthropology initially is its potentiality for building bridges of communication between people. Um, I know that when I first decided to go back to school, I took a cultural anthropology class in my first quarter. And I recognized that the people that I was researching based on the ethnographic research which had already been collected, I had never met with, I had never been involved with on a one-to-one -one personal human level, but I felt as though I understood much better. I think that I uh, also was incredibly interested in representing for the community of hip hop artists because I worked in the music industry for 15, 20 years before I retired and decided to go back to school. So these are my people who I grew up with, who I spent most of my life with that now I'm trying to properly represent both in academia and in the world at large. My name is Dana Goldman and my project is entitled Behind the Red Door, Linguistic Choices and Cultural Meaning in Hip Hop. Uh, I did work uh, and research for the Lemelson program in Los Angeles, New York, Houston, and Detroit. But the main work was done with a Los Angeles-based rap artist named True Lee, who genealogically is linked to a lot of Los Angeles rappers over time, but who himself is younger and beginning to negotiate the process of recording music in a studio. I'm very interested in the dichotomous arrangement that America has with hip-hop music and culture. On the one hand, it is the most consumed form of music in America, and on the other hand, traditionally in uh, media outlets, it's vilified uh, the artists and the listeners, and I was interested in representing properly what was happening now within the community so that these uh, commonalities between them and the rest of the American public can be identified and that the gap can be narrowed between that dichotomous arrangement and hopefully be more open and upfront. I started to connect the things that I was witnessing in the studio to um, theories which have been espoused by anthropological researchers in the past who focus on hip-hop. And I know that when I initially read a lot of the research, I was like, well, that can't be right. <laughs> I don't feel like that accurately represents us. And then when I got into the studio and I took off my uh, producer, musician, A&R cap and put on my anthropology researcher cap, I was like, oh, wow, there are some things here that make a whole lot of sense and that I can connect, uh, accurately update and represent and create new theories that can you know, hopefully be an impetus for further research into hip hop and the community. Well, what I'm hoping that my research contributes is an updated and better understanding of uh, how the music is created, what the intention behind both the lyrics and the aesthetics are for the artist, how that lands with the listener, and the positive feedback loop that takes place between uh, idea germ analysis in the artist to finalized recorded content to emotional resonance in the listener. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, look, we're leaving guns when it make a nigga wanna run from nothing even worse. This niggas out here trying to get into the budget. Drew said to fucking cut it if it's holding you back. Got these niggas out here trying to hit notes like we gave up on rap. But I've been chilling with the Kenneth folk. Yeah. You bitch a pussy if you ain't been out here trying to learn the ropes. Hop about your feelings like yo girl, I bought them pantyhose. Keep the peace, but keep a peace. Get to come knocking at my door. Uh, I think that what I would tell people who are applying to the program is, um, while it may seem like another thing on your plate that you are dealing with in conjunction with the rest of school, take the application process seriously uh, because this is a life-changing uh, process, for better or worse. <laughs> And uh, for people who are in the program, uh, I think that my biggest piece of advice would be uh, don't get too caught up in what other people think about the research that you are doing. Make sure that um, what you are doing resonates internally with you as something that is uh, positive for academia, for the community that you're working with, and for yourself uh, in future anthropological inquiry or just in life in general. 
Um, you may hear a lot of things from a lot of people who have different life perspectives than you, and that's amazing and great so that you can incorporate it into your research and into the analysis and final conclusions that you make, but don't get too caught up on what they're telling you in regards to the people that you looked at, because you are the expert now, which is always an amazing feeling.